I've kind of surrounded myself, uh, you know, with running, going from the road one weekend to the trail and then even jumping down onto the track. I get to have this as my lifestyle and I love doing everything and, you know, that's what I'm all about. I'm definitely competitive. Yeah, I mean, I started running, it was a long time ago now, but back in seventh grade. I don't know, it's hard to say where that competitiveness comes from. It's just something that's been ingrained in me. Most of it for me is just about the simplicity of running fast. And, and that's why I continue to run on the roads is, is just because it's all about the speed and it's fun to run fast. the ability to go out and see what, how I stack up against myself and against other people, against a particular course. People want something that's going to push themselves and I think there's very few things like that because we do live such a you know comfortable existence. Yeah, I think some people have that competitiveness and some people don't. I think it's a personality trait really. It's the reason why I'm still racing races like Comrades and stuff. When it comes to Comrades, it's the biggest ultra in, in the world. It's the most competitive. It's the oldest. It seems to sort of captivate just everyone because they can see how challenging an event it is. Everybody starts out so fast, but you're running 54 miles, so it's like, it's crazy start. was feeling decent and then all of a sudden the wheels fell off and I saw myself just kind of going backwards. It's weird, I feel like I can kind of dance a little bit, but I can't run. There's no run. <laughs> Might as well enjoy it. And if nothing else, I get a nice walk through the South African countryside. It's beautiful out here. One minute I'm competitive and I have to be very serious about it. And then the next minute I have to realize that, hey, it's just a sport. You know, running, you can't really control who else is there and what they're doing. Like, if they're faster, they're faster. It's all right. People have always told me, like, oh, if you just focused on one event, you'd be so good. I've got to try some different stuff. <laughs> almost partly ADD. In order to stay motivated, I've got to change things up all the time. Yes, although running is a commitment, once you get out there, all you have to do is run. You don't have to do anything else. There's always something to challenge you and keep you interested. Whether you're running 100 miles or you're running 3K steeplechase on the track, it's, you know, it's running. The mechanics are the same and, and I enjoy it and so I've, I've got to keep changing it up. There's a certain amount of simplicity to the road that the trail just can't give you. But vice versa, if I was always doing road marathons, I'd never get to see the beautiful places that are out away from the cities. You can get on a lovely piece of quiet road and you can just get into the breathing and the rhythm of your moving legs, which crosses over a little with trail if you know where you're going on the trail. 
I want to continue this as long as it'll let me. Just being out in the mountains and out on the road and, and getting out there for a run. Should you give us a selfie pose? What? Selfie pose. Oh, this, this is my selfie pose, right? Yeah. Like this. Okay, don't step over the... I'm a runner, man. <laughs> <laughs>